Hey everyone, it's Lin here. In this video, I will share with you how I made my latest sculpture piece. I did not record the entire process, but I will share as much as I can. Here are the tools I used to make this piece. Initially, at the beginning, I wanted to go into doing something really dark, but I ended up twisting the scene into more dreamy, pastel gothic kind of style. After sculpting the tentacles, I use a silicone pen and clay softener to smooth the surface and recreating the shape. Applying more texture to the piece before I put it in the oven. Preheat my oven to 225 Fahrenheit and I baked it for 30 minutes. I start off with airbrushing a hot pink color on the tentacles and I added some green and blue colors. I did not clean my airbrush properly so I ended up changing the tentacle color. I'm using acrylic paints for her eyes. The paints are thinned down to try to get a smooth, flat finish because that way it will give a nice glossy finish while I gloss it at the end. I'm doing the details on her eyes now before I work on the rest of her face because I find that if I'm going to make a mistake, it's most likely going to be during this stage. If I do that early on, then if I make a mistake, I can wipe and start again, and it won't be a big deal. I'm using Pan Pastel for her face flushing. If you are working on a bigger size sculpture, I would recommend using makeup brushes, but because my sculpture is kind of small, I was just using a small size paintbrush.
The eyes are kind of tricky because they are so small. I started off by just applying flat colors so I know where I want everything. And after that, I go in and start working on the shading. Here is where I'm doing skin texturing and stippling on the same liner brush I use for her eyes. I vary up the consistency of the paint so I can get a more realistic look. I want to give her a glossy finish, so I'm using Art Resin to coat my work. With gloves on, pour equal amount of resin and hardener into a mixing cup. Stir really well for at least 3 minutes. For my piece, I actually mixed at least 6 minutes. I poured a small amount of resin from a higher distance because in this way you can get rid of air bubbles. Using an art brush and apply the resin evenly on your work. I let her set in a dust-free environment for 24 hours. I really enjoy how she turned out. If you enjoy my video, please follow me on Instagram and subscribe my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will try my best to answer it. Thank you for watching, see you soon!